Hey guys, what's up? Sermon 11 here. Um, today I'm going to be doing my best, uh, best channels of 2012 video. Um, the top 10 videos are coming eventually. They'll probably be done within this week or next week. But I have to get those done and I'll probably try to do them today. It's just I've been really lazy and staying up all night and stuff. So, um, these are basically YouTube channels that I would, uh, always suggest to check out. Um, in my videos and stuff. These are some of my favorites. Uh, I might do a video like this in um, 2013, but my favorite channels most likely won't change unless unless new ones are added. I probably won't remove any of these people unless they do anything like really bad or something. Uh, I'm sorry, I sound sick. Um, in my opinion, these are these people are some of YouTube's best people uh these channels are in no specific order so the we viewer this is the first channel i'm doing um it's a channel with uh family reviews and you have this man who reviews uh wii games virtual console games and um stuff like that for the wii um with his kids and it's really cool because you get to hear um, the opinion of an adult and hear the opinion of a child and um, it's really nice to hear how they all interpret the game um, I've been watching him for a long time a really long time I've probably been watching him longer well he might be the second, second um, longest channel I've been watching on this list if that makes any sense well um Spoiler alert, Maryland is on this list. Maryland is the YouTuber on this list that I've been watching the longest. And then next will come the Wii Viewer. So, <laughs> um, so you can, and then they do uh, comedy skits sometimes in the, um, the reviews. And so you can just see his, how his kids grow up throughout each review, how their opinions become better, um, and stuff like that. It's a really nice YouTube channel. Um, he used to review Wii games. Now he reviews Wii U stuff, and um, he reviewed like a lot of the uh, you know the RPGs that people were into, trying to get over to um, America. The last story is Xenoblade. He did all that before moving on to the Wii U, which was really cool. Um, so I, I I did get addicted to his videos. After I was like wondering where, where's the next review? It's like the reviews are so interesting and um. He reviews a lot of Wii games, like not just like the good stuff, but some games that might some people might consider bad, or some games that kids might play. Next is the Insane Game Freak. He reviews a lot of anime, but he also covers topics about life. Like um, when I when I say he reviews anime, he reviews like Pokemon Weekly. He reviews uh, Bakuman, Sket Dance, and um, I'm not sure that might be it, but. Uh, he has two channels, and the Wii Viewer, by the way, he has a second channel with like uncut videos where they, um, he has some stuff that he can't really say in the other re review, and he, um, you, you should check it out. Um, but he hasn't posted anything in a while. Um, the same game break. I, I got addicted to this channel at one point. Like when I first found his channel, um, I think one of the first videos I watched was the uh, one of the Pokemon Best Wishes reviews, and it was one of the one of the ones where uh. Like uh, it was like Ash versus Iris or something, and then I just like really liked his opinions and um, I, I'm I'm watching the English dub of the Pokemon anime and I actually caught up on all his reviews. I was just watching his reviews after e each episode and then like the episodes that I already seen, I would just went back and watch the reviews and I was just like, this is this guy is so interesting. I just like really like watching his videos and um, topics about life. He does like societal discussions. Um, those are really interesting. You get to learn his thoughts about stuff in life. He did one on like today's music. Um, he did other ones. I, I can't think of one right now. Um, so yeah, there's some really good stuff on this channel. Um, even though I watch the English dub of the Pokemon anime, the reviews still make sense because you know they just change the names of a few characters. Otherwise, um, otherwise the content is still the same. Um, he does a lot of s series reviews and um, re reviews anime Le weekly. Um, I actually watched one of my favorite animes because of his review, Anuhana. If you haven't seen that, go.
go watch his re- go watch his review and um, s- go watch the anime. It's it's short, but it's amazing. And one of the things that really attracted me to the channel was he goes really in depth with reviews, and which was one that that was a big attraction to the channel. Um, he also does video game reviews. I think he did a review on Black and White too. He did a review over Kid Icarus, stuff like that. Um, I've actually gone back on his channel and watched a lot of his old stuff. That's how addicted I was on to, to his um, YouTube channel. I'm also an admin on his Facebook page, so sometimes you might see some posts by me. I just go like, um, I, I put Melvin and I put assistant in um, brackets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Moving on. Sawyer Seven Mage. This guy is hilarious. He does reviews weekly for the Naruto um, One Piece. Um, manga and anime, and sometimes <laughs> this guy is just downright hilarious. He, he puts jokes in like um, in the reviews, tries to make it funny. It's it's more enjoyable like when you do it that way instead of just like a straight review. And um, he does discussions. He does anime. Re- I already said that. Um, he does Legend of Korra reviews. Well, he did until, you know, Korra ended, and then it's going to be coming back, but he does reviews, he does stuff covering Legend of Korra, so, um, he also does stuff covering Avatar, you know, like those books that are coming out, um, stuff like that. One thing I really love about his channel is that, you know, the reviews have jokes in them, and he's really, a really intelligent, um, individual, and you can just tell from watching his videos that he has an opinion, and he can easily back it up. And sometimes he tells stories about um, him, how he got into this anime, and they're really interesting. And I, I really like learning about um, stuff in his videos. And he has a book, um, if you want to check that out. I believe it's called Chasing Number 8. Um, it's, a, I think it's called like a screen write or script or something. I, I'm sorry, sorry, if you see this, um, I, I forgot what it was called, but he has a link on his channel. And if you guys need any of these links, I'll be able to provide them, but I really don't want to. <laughs> um, Freddy W., you know, um, Freddy Wong, he can do some amazing movie-like scenes. And I just, I just love to see what him and Brandon can do, like, movie-wise. Um, basically, you have Freddy Wong and Brandon, uh, I forgot Brandon's last name. I don't know Brandon's last name. He, um, they do, uh, special effects and stuff. They film like different scenes and um, one of my um, favorite things that they actually worked on was a video game high school that that's good it's um, it's kind of exactly what it's like exactly what the title says it's a high school about video game gaming and like if something if something like this was real I would go there in a heartbeat I watched most of video game high school in one night um I believe the first video I saw of Freddy W was um the Chrono Trigger thing where he was like shooting at the people and um slowing down time and I was just like this guy's this is so amazing and stuff. Um that was quite a long time ago if I recall. Yeah, but they definitely deserve to be one of YouTube's top channels because they are, you know, um up there in the ranks probably. I think they're in the top ten possibly. Uh you should definitely check that channel out. Uh, it's pretty cool. Wow, I'm at eight minutes already. Um, Neo Gamespark. He does many, many videos. He does videos on news, reviews, movies, and series where you can get to know him better. Uh, I actually discovered his channel throughout through um, a review of Scoob- a Scooby Doo movie that aired on Cartoon Network a few years ago. Um, I think. Um, a few years ago, a lot of his content was based around Naruto, and he kind of just grew out of that. He's still a Naruto fan. It's just like that's just not the only the only thing he does. Like it doesn't really revolve around Naruto anymore. It's more broad, I guess you could say. Um, Neo is a really cool guy, and I've gotten to know him better. Um, his live streams are pretty cool. You should uh, come sometime. I got addicted to this channel too. <laughs> Yoko Rama Game Talk does chapter reviews, a lot of anime reviews, live streams, news, and he's also a music- musician. 
I don't know how this guy gets the time to watch all this anime, because, like, he does a lot of anime reviews, and then, like, when every season starts, I think he watches the first episode of most of the, uh, I won't say most, but I'll say a lot of anime on the, um, the, you know, like, you have the winter list, or, for example, he would probably watch a lot of the anime on there, and then give his thoughts in one big video, which is pretty cool, but I can't watch all that. <laughs> That's too much anime. If you ever wonder about checking about checking an anime out, just watch his channel. Um, he has a ton of reviews up, and he um, he does weekly reviews of Hunter x Hunter. I remember him reviewing. Um, he reviews Naruto chapters currently, I believe. He he took a break. Um, moving on, code provider, code provider, code provider. You have one of the biggest manga collections out there. I couldn't even believe, like, I couldn't even start to believe how he paid for all of this. Dang. There's just so much manga. You should, um, watch one of his collection videos and just see how much manga he has. I can see why he rarely does a video on that, because he has to take all his manga out. And personally, you don't really have to do that. You could just... You could just uh, show us like on the bookcase or something. I, I forgot what he did, but I think he like took books out of a lot of places, and I don't want him like to damage his books or something. Cause I've done that trying to show my manga to the um, YouTube community. Uh, I think I've damaged one of my manga books doing that. I mean, you could just show us the spine or something. Um, I was actually watching Co Provider a few years ago as well. Um, I think I'm more into his channel now than when I was uh, a few years ago. I watched most of the videos he uploads. He also has a second channel on um, random things and stuff about his life. And by the way, Yokorama has multiple channels too. Neo Game Spark has Neo Game Spark 2, which has like gameplay of video games on there and stuff. Um, and I really like learning about co-providers, um, his life and stuff. So, as I said, uh, where did I say that? He reviews, um, manga chapters, such as Naruto, One Piece. He reviews anime, Sword Art Online, Hunter x Hunter. Um, he reviews, like, movies and stuff. And he talks about news as well. A lot of these channels talk about news. Um, I've checked out a lot of manga, manga, whatever, because of a code provider. And, um, I actually has, have a long long list of uh, other manga that he's uh, talked about in his videos that I want to check out. Like he recently did his um, top 10 manga of all time and there was like stuff in there like Holy Land and um, which isn't available in America so you have to read it online. I kind of add that to my favorites because I don't really feel like reading all this manga right now and Manga Fox and um, Manga Reader have been sharing a lot of good series. I think um, Manga Reader steals like uh the posts from manga fox and posts them on their facebook page but whatever um it's just like there's so much manga out there to check out and i, I feel it would be better to give each series a little bit of attention and go one by one so yeah that, that kind of went off the topic but you know co-provider is awesome uh the rona project ah the rona project they're probably one of those channels that really influenced a lot of YouTubers to create their own manga series. And it's just so inspiring watching their journey. Even now, after the book's out, um, it's very interesting to learn what's going on in um, Ryan's daily life. And I can't wait to see what Ryan thinks of next. And I'm always waiting for another video. Because I just like hearing his thoughts and stuff. Um, he, uh... What am I trying to say? He, he's done some projects after the Rona project, but, um, I know one of them ended, and he was, he was doing a contest, but it wasn't really like, boom, right in your face contest, it was more of, more or less, um, a contest where, uh, you could help him with a manga, and he had, like, specific instructions, but you had, you had to follow his rules, and it, it was... I don't even know what I'm talking about. Moving on. <laughs> um, but the uh, 
Rona is a very well written book and it has great art and you should buy it. They have some other merchandise such as uh, bookmarks and stuff and I know I say moving on and then I go back. Got problems. Bob Samurai is a big Gundam fan and he even has a channel dedicated to model kits on that. Um, he collects anime and manga. He has a channel about collecting. Um, he has videos on news. He has one video on news every Tuesday known as Otaku Tuesday. And I try not to miss an episode because that's really good. And it's really nice to know his thoughts on what's going on and hear things that I might have missed. Um, he has a very nice collection of anime going on. He reviews, he does series reviews of anime. Um, he sometimes does chapter reviews, I guess, like, whenever he's interested. That's, that's just what I got from it. Because, um, he did a chapter review, and I, I think he, he either did one or two, and then he just, like, stopped. So, you know, he's probably one of those guys who does a review whenever it's interesting to him. Um, he's also an actual samurai. It's in his name, and he has swords, so therefore he's a samurai. You should check out some of his swords, though. Um, this is the one I had to spoil. <laughs> Maryland, he is so awesome. I love his walkthroughs of the Pokemon games. Um, even if I'm behind on the uh, the walkthroughs, you know, like if I'm behind Maryland and he's playing ahead in the game, or I'm ahead of him and he's playing the game. It's still interesting to watch, and they're really cool, and I think he, he really does try to make them interesting. Um, there's just something addicting about his videos. He also has some Minecraft videos up, and those are pretty cool too. It's just like, whatever Maryland does is just awesome. I've been watching him since I first joined YouTube. This is back in 2007, and a funny thing about 2007, uh, I was actually afraid to subscribe to channels because like, subscription... It kind of sounds like, uh, you know, like a magazine, you subscribe to those. And I was really young, I didn't know what was going on. And I thought that would cost money or something, I didn't want to, like, get in trouble with my parents. So, um, that's kind of why, um, I didn't really subscribe right away until I really figured out what YouTube was and how to use it. So, yeah, Maryland, um, I think he recently did, uh, a news lock whatever, the uh, the challenge in Pokemon where you um, try to make the games harder and you know, um, if a Pokemon dies, if a Pokemon loses in battle, it's basically dead and you can't use it anymore. I hope this video is almost over. Okay, um, this is a new channel. Well, I discovered it recently. It's called High Five Tunes. Um, they create some awesome shorts. I forgot if it's one person or multiple people. Uh, my favorite one they uh, did is Pikachu on acid. Don't do acid, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I think that's one of their videos that went viral. I'm not sure if any of the other ones went viral or not. They did a video on like, um, you know how um, Disney was Disney bought Star Wars out and all that. Um, so yeah, they have some really cool animations on there. You should check those out. Team Four Star. This channel does the bridge series of the um, of Dragon Ball Z, and I actually don't really like fan dubs and stuff. And it was a surprise that I actually like this. This is downright hilarious. If you've actually seen Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Z Kai, you'll understand like some of the jokes, and it's hilarious. They uh, they've been doing this for four years. <laughs> Team Four Star. You should uh, you should definitely watch them if you're a big fan of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. I, I don't know if you're if you're a fan of Dragon Ball GT. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm a fan of Dragon Ball GT. Um, Duncan three three three, oh three. He does technology videos. He reports and reviews on the latest tech from Apple to Android to Nintendo and more. And he provides some very detailed videos that are s like so high quality. And he, you can just tell he puts so much work into his videos, and that's um, one of the attractive qualities of his channel. He does like reviews of cell phones and um, other devices. He goes to uh, you know like tech conventions. 
looks at all the new technology and you know they're adding like technology to a lot of things and like the kitchens and stuff that's kind of some of the things I learned from this video they're adding like technology to windows and there's a lot of weird stuff going on Luffy the Dragon Slayer this guy is awesome uh, you know everyone on this list is awesome he's um he does chapter reviews he does manga reviews anime reviews TV show reviews he does a lot of reviews and stuff um, I actually discovered his channel. I think I was watching uh, for Neverwell's video, and um, I just started watching his reviews weekly because I believe I was watching um, I was watching for Neverworld and Sword Seven Mage weekly. And then I started watching Luffy the Dragon Slayer. And then I started watching Yokorama. Then I started watching Code Providers um, weekly reviews, and then I started watching um, King of Lightning. <laughs> and I'm just watching so many manga reviewers weekly so yeah his channel's pretty awesome uh he wow i should have wrote some stuff about his channel i thought i could do this one off the top of my head but uh as i said before um he's the one who kind of helped me change my youtube style um he told me to like write notes i didn't really that didn't work for me <laughs> so Instead of writing notes, I kind of wrote the whole video out. That's kind of the idea I got from that, um, which is something I should have done now, but I'm lazy. He also, he has multiple channels, but I don't know. Would you, uh, like, he, he switches a lot. He, um, he has a channel about movies, gaming, and TV, and then he has a Let's, a Let's Play channel. I think he's he did like a Professor Layton. <laughs> I am messing up so much. He did a Professor Layton um, let's play, and he's doing other let's plays. Uh, he did one of Pokemon Conquest. So right now he's reviewing Toriko, Naruto, Bleach, One Piece. I think he might start reviewing One Punch Man, which is a really cool manga, and um, he has like his top ten manga list on there. He has a room tour. Every Saturday, he does a vlog containing like various things. I'm kind of behind on his vlogs though, but um, he's a very interesting guy. Uh, I got addicted to this channel. Um, let me see. I, I think I want to do a few more, so I'm just gonna go to my channel. You have uh, Soldier Knows Best, who uh, he does like tech stuff, kind of like Duncan. He's an actual soldier. He um he does comparisons like um in his reviews such as like stuff with the iPod Touch or iPhone. He does comparisons of like the cameras to the old one and then the new one, and that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. And the last one that I'm gonna do in this video is uh King of Lightning. This channel I recently discovered a few months ago. This guy is awesome. Um, he does some very in-depth reviews. He does anime reviews. Um, he reviews a lot of stuff. He does Toriko, One Piece, Bleach, Naruto, and I'm pretty sure he would review Hunter x Hunter if the manga was uh, going on. I think Hunter x Hunter is restarting soon. I mean, it's coming back to Shonen Jump and stuff. Um, he did anime reviews for K, Bitoom, Hunter X Hunter, Magi. He does a lot of discussion videos. He did like how strong they will be for um, at the end of the series for Bleach, Naruto, and One Piece. Each uh, some of the characters and stuff. He does first impressions on Kuroko No Basket, and he's gonna love that anime. I'm just saying, Kuroko No Basket is epic. Uh, you know this guy's just hilarious too, and you should really check him out. He's one of those top uh, anime reviewers. So, um, I'm not sure if these people will actually see this video, so I'm going to just contact them and tell them that they are my favorite channel. Though they're, they're in my favorite channels of 2012, or just my favorite YouTubers. So, that's it. If you want to check these guys out, I really don't want to put the links down there, but I might do it. 
you can um, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. As I said before, a lot of these people have multiple channels. Um, and thanks for watching. I'm sorry this is a long video. I'm actually not tired, which is a big surprise. <laughs> Anyways, later.